Hey everyone, this is Thunderbob here, and tonight I'm checking out a new game. This is A-Tech Cybernetic. Um, all I know really about this is it's a shooter, it's a relatively recent VR release. And uh, these graphics are pretty decent. The dude's looking at me. Not the best models in the world, but like the game world itself is pretty, uh, it's pretty decent. Let's do the story. Hey, wake up! Who are you and how did you get in my head? Yes, I'm talking to you, player. You took my body. Don't believe me? Raise your hands. These are my hands, actually. <gasps> I guess we're stuck together. That's a shame. But, well, I might be able to use you. What's that noise when I say your name? We should get out of here. Yes, you have to open the drawer. Well, we have to open the drawer. Oh, that's a clever way to get around. Like, Take that card. Now open the door. Weapon selector available. Flashlight. That I did open the drawer. I feel like I opened the drawer as far as I can open it. Wow, quite a mess. What the hell are you? I feel you in my head and you control my body. And what's that name? Is it a hacker name or something? Yep. Have the force. Need a gun. It reminds me a bit of um let's see, this is our last Let's stand. do some exploring. Reminds me a little bit of the um, Doom 3 VR mod, which I played a, a little bit of an hour or two and I thought it was pretty cool. But uh, it made me a little nauseous just because it wasn't built around VR, and that was pretty early on in my VR career. But it feels kind of graphically kind of like that. Kind of the same thing. Just like monsters everywhere, all hell breaking loose. Now we're talking. Yeah. Graphics aren't half bad, to be honest. I kind of want this UI element just to go away, though. Is it coming up on the screen? Okay, you can't see it in the overlay. It's interesting. On my screen, there is like kind of an interface with my health up there and maybe my ammo and stuff. I always have trouble reading these for whatever reason. I think they just uh, put them too far out on the edges of the screen. I wonder if all the enemies are like robotic. Pistol ammo. Seems like all hell has broken loose. Um, yeah, I forgot to tell you that this place swarms with artificial zombie like things. There's a lot of them. I blew that one's head off, and it's still coming. Okay, so headshots are not instant kills for some enemies. That is... a thing. It reminds me a little bit of Raw Data, um, as well, which is a game that I really, really enjoy. That was another early VR kind of experiment, I feel like, that it was good, but... Um, Jesus Christ. 
like had its moments, but overall should have been more of a, a full-on game rather than a series of like arena battles. Kind of wanted to see if I could turn off the the overlay. Hey, now I get no HUD. I don't know if I'm not gonna see how much health I have, but I think I'd prefer no HUD. It's all like healing items around, but I think I'm full. This is pretty cool. Uh, Let, yes, this is our way out. Just have to find the thing that opens these gates. Can I pour them on flashlight? Armory. So that'll heal you, I'm guessing. Investigate. I wish I could just have my flashlight like attached to me and on. Can't go in there. And I can't force it through the wall either. Okay. That's cool. I think I gotta go over here. Can I do anything with this? So you can teleport and free move. Raw Daddy even had you fighting primarily robots for the whole game, so like this definitely Good feels. Thing. I was wearing an omni suit when you came in me. Damn, that came out so wrong. <laughs> Anyways, use the teleport to get in there. Okay, this is it. No climbing, it seems. At least not in the bunk bed. It's kind of like I got too much health and stuff. Don't know what I just grabbed. Crap, did I lose my gun? Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Can I lose it? No, it just goes back in here. Okay. I think it does. There it goes. Okay, your melee weapon goes to your side too. I don't have to hold on to it this whole time. I think. There it goes. So I can pull my flashlight out. This is a, a little bit better, um, not better, a little higher production values and a little higher quality than I was expecting. Like I, I think I saw the... Oh, shit. I'm on fire. Shit, shit, shit. Is there a healing thing in there? I think there was. Give me the healing thing. Okay. I don't like the click to turn. I, I turn that off. I usually just physically turn around in my play space. You know, I'm not actually using the the stick when I'm playing this. Generally, I'm actually physically moving around my play space. Um, but what I was saying is, I was maybe not expecting something quite of this caliber. Um, Like the graphics are really nice, um, voice acting's good, like it, it just feels smooth. Uh, let me just check my OVR settings real quick. I've gotten one drop frame since I've been playing and 0.9 reprojection rate, which is probably like loading areas and stuff like 
That's a cool fire effect for VR too. This so is how did pretty you damn cool. Get in my head, hmm? Now let's play a game. You think of something as an answer, and I'll try to concentrate to hear it. If you agree, do a backflip. Fine. I think I heard you think yes, Mister. Good job. You might be useful after all. Now, can you pull these levers? The interactions are maybe not perfect. This is not Half-Life Alex. This is an open B3. B4 might be stuck from the other side. Let's have a look around in there. Okay. And like the way it kind of shows things up in the world and lets you know where to go is really nice because sometimes in VR it can be very disorienting to say the least. I can go this. Oh shit. They definitely throw a lot of enemies at you. What are those? They're like faster ones, maybe a little weaker. They got like dreadlocks on. It's creepy when they keep coming at you after you knock their heads off. Like you don't know when you need you can stop firing. I appreciate how much ammo you get in a single clip. That's another thing that's kind of frustrating in VR sometimes. Is um you know, in some games you have like seven bullets and you're constantly like bringing your clip up here and and sometimes that's cool. Um, but in a long game like this with a ton of enemies, I just I prefer to have a little bit bigger clip. And I did pick this up in the Humble Bundle. Um, if if you're into VR and you don't have a couple of these games, this is the cheapest way you can get them. I didn't even realize there was a second page in some of these. How do we go to the next page? It says one of two. I don't see like a next button. I got nothing. Okay. That one won't open. I don't know if it's worth exploring, like, if I don't need to come in here, am I just wasting ammo? So I seem to be finding enough stuff to make it worth my time. full health at this point. I feel like they give you flashlights a lot, maybe in case you lose one in a dark area. Oh, I feel like something's gonna jump out at me. What's that? Is that a different gun? Or do I have two guns now? I'm not sure. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Dick move, man. Those are bigger ones. I just about jumped out of my pants right there.
Uh, but I didn't get hit. Is that a... Oh, like a lightsaber? Hell yeah. I like it. Yep, this should do it. It's Dr. Clark's. He had access to everything. <laughs> okay. Stay down. Stay down. Get out of here. Oh, oh, okay. That's pretty cool. So you hold the trigger, the left trigger, and if, if your hand's empty, and you can just... That's really clever. Alright, the melee combat is, um, simplistic, to say the least. It's not Saints and Sinners, for sure. Pipe. Pistol. Okay, so, you, so what I'm selecting is what's in my holster, basically. So you could do... that is really clever. I, um... So really, these weapons are kind of meaningless, because you can always just get them from your... from your holster. Or can you? Flashlight... maybe the melee ones are not infinite. Guess this trip is just getting better and better. Okay, so this definitely feels like some doom shit right here. Uh, kind of creepy. Maybe a little bit like that hell point that came out recently. I did a video on it. It was kind of like a Dark Souls meets a Doom. Yep, it's stuck. Pull out that crowbar and let's get free, man. That's got to be slow down time for me. This way you can do your thing. Go grunt, smash. Where'd my laser sword go? Well. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted that. Crowbar. Oh. Hitting me. Hey, you don't know if I call you grunt, do you? You're really good at killing these things. And beeping when I say your name is killing me. Also, you don't really have a say in the matter. So, grunt it is. I love crowbars. Half life's awesome. I should probably go heal. I'm totally digging this right now. This is really cool. Like surprisingly cool. Like I was not expecting to enjoy this as much. Like I saw, it looked kind of generic, you know, from the good job, Grunt. the an artwork and the advertisements and stuff. The best thing you could have done to make my day even better. Come on. All right, the melee combat is kind of uh, weak, though. The gun plays pretty good though. And it seems like there's a lot of weapons. Because if you look at the radial wheel where like the weapons are, there are a ton of them in there. Shit. What gets me is I shoot them in the head and I think they're dead. And then sometimes they're not. Yeah. Is that like a grenade? That is like a grenade! Shit. Oh my 
you're going this way. Yes, another luck door. Let's look for a way to open it. I wish I could do the lightsaber thing, or the force thing, while I had my hands full, like if it was another key or something. Let's see. Get access. Oh, a network entry point. I've never used these things. Put my hands on the console to enter. Am I inside the computer? So, to open the door, we have to connect the nodes to overwrite lockdown protocols. There Just look for the colors and it'll be a piece of cake, Grunt. I'm colorblind, sir. That seemed easy. I guess you got here through the network. And since it couldn't download you into an empty body, the system used mine. Thanks a lot. No problem. Merry Christmas and happy birthday. Let's stock up. Yeah. So now are these just on the wheel where I can, yeah. So it seems like you get like one melee per hand. And then your other guns, you can cycle between. So whether it's a clever way to do it, because the guns really don't matter, it's the ammo for them that's kind of more critical. So did that mean this is unlocked? You are alive. An impressive feat, I must admit. Oh no. Joe Hansen. <laughs> how what? How are you still alive? How do you control them? None of your business. What's more interesting is that you were able to fight your way here. You are no good lazy fat. I might just be better than you expected. Too bad that you are on the wrong side of history, my friend. If I can help it, you will still die here. Without anyone ever knowing your name. Too bad that I won't die here, you piece of shit. I'll get out of here, just so you know. We'll see about that, Norman. Oh, look. The door's opening. Have fun. <laughs> Alright, there's gonna be like a ton of enemies, aren't there? He's an asshole. Fuck. He might be approaching my level of intellect. We'd better get the hell away from here quick. Oh. That was weird. I just had like a block out screen there for a second. Uh, I think that might be my wireless VR and not the game though. I'm not going to hold that against the game. Been having some weird issues where um, after a certain amount of time the wireless wants to like turn off. I thought I had it fixed. It hasn't happened for quite a while. If you're using a, a wireless and you have some weird issues like that, let me know.
This definitely feels like playing raw data. So I usually played Bishop who used two pistols. Give me more bullets. Oh, enemy with gun. A nervous retardation process is included by stimulant chemists, so they retain their ability to use tools. Interesting. That's not good. Red barrel. Red barrel. Um. Need more ammo. Oh shit. Try not to get trapped. Trying to sparingly use these bullets. There's a lot of enemies in this game. Dropping my gun or something. I thought it went right back to your holster, but it. getting a little harder. Should be using these barrels. The lighting is really good. Like everything's dark and then the sparks come on. 17 years of research done by the greatest mind humanity can present. Yes, of course I'm referring to myself, not the other idiots now resting in pieces. I don't have a melee weapon on me somehow. Should I miss any ammo? I feel like I did something wrong. Sparing with my ammo. He might not have been the one who released these things. Maybe it was me. But let's talk about this later. Um, and yeah, and if you like this, I've got a whole channel devoted to like VR content, uh, new games, unreleased games, retro games, 
to check out some of it. If you, if you think it's up your alley, why don't you subscribe? Uh, I would appreciate it. So thanks again for watching, everyone. Have a good night.